All right. Thank you for the coin. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Far Experience. I hope everybody is doing good. So today is a rainy day and we are gonna start our end-to-end -end experience of, of using Carvana to purchase a car. Minded guys that this is not a sponsored video and I'm just sharing my own personal experiences. So without wasting any further time, let's jump to the website because that's where we have to start from, unlike going to any other dealership and the hassles. So just sit at the comfort of your home or office, use your phone or computers and jump onto their website. So here we are on their website. You can either search, you know, the type of car you want from the search box or there are other options as well. Like you can search with body types, featured cars. Another good part about this is because I'm doing it on the computer and not on my phone or app. So you don't even need to have an account. You can simply go to the website, search for the car, what you're looking for, and you can find it in your area. Or even you can choose cars which are located at this point of time at some other area and get it shipped over to your place. And considering the fact that how crazy the car prices are these days, we can actually do a comparative analysis of cars of like, you know, same year or different year with different miles on it. And, you know, we can see the cost like and even we can do a comparative analysis with kbb and what price is being offered here so overall being a tech guy uh working in the tech industry for over a decade i would say the website does gives us a good experience a school experience and it's recommended so as we've progressed further guys mind it i'm not taking the delivery of the car at my door rather i'm going to pick it up at the carwana vending machine yes the famous vending machine and right now i'm heading towards my uber so while i get to my uber let's go back to the website and check what sort of you know car details we can find there on the website and how the experience is stay tuned Now coming back to the website, so the first thing we need to understand is our priorities. So what I was trying to look for is an SUV with a big boot and cargo space and then I could have used it to drive long hauls like across the states. So the first thing I zeroed on was a BMW X5. Now my next preference was a Jeep Wrangler. But then, my guys, at the end of the day, I ended up buying something entirely different. And I'm going to let you the reason. Because I was actually going to replace my primary car. So I wanted something reliable, you know. So let's see the details of these cars here. So let's start from the left side where the filters are. So the good part is you can filter it as per your convenience, whether it's payment or pricing make and model or even the game changer for me was when I selected like a seven seater car that's why I ended up actually buying something different so yes you can actually you know filter it based on even trim and transmission and everything so that's that feels good here now let's jump into the car details so on the website so as you can see the first thing you will see at the top is the expected delivery date the pricing and then the interior and exterior pictures now moving down it will give you a descriptive view of your delivery information then we'll have your key features actually all the features are basically listed here and how many owners does it have the win number miles and additional details also 
you know, like if you're trying to buy it what once or if you're trying to finance it, it just gives you an overview. Then it gives you information about the inspection and also the seven day money back return policy and the hundred day limited miles warranty for the car, which is actually pretty important. And if this car does come with the original manufacturer warranty, so you'll have all those details right here. So I would say the website actually does a pretty good job, you know, of listing all the details. And then also you can see the recommended section based on my search, you know, criteria. And that's the reason why, you know, you can see a Lexus or a Porsche, you know, uh, listed there. And that's how I ended up actually buying something else. But then again, if I go back uh, at the top, you will even have a 360 you know 360 view of the car the pictures which you can actually see apart from all those features let me just take you there right here so you will have a 360 view and listing all also listing all the imperfections here also if you remember guys so the features uh, tab on the left so you can also uh, filter it out with features like lane departure system and you know all wheel drive and all that other stuff and that's one of the other thing why i chose to buy a car which suits my need so we you can actually get down to the bottom of the features and choose what you want overall as a buyer's perspective i would say all the details which we needed when we go like even to a dealership to buy a car all the information is basically listed here and i don't think there is any additional information we would need so again as for the car details on on the process yes again it's a good experience so i'm already in my uber now and we are heading to the carwana vending machine to take the delivery of our car so stay tuned guys and let's go back and jump into the buying process and I'll show you how the buying process was. So now back at the website, once we choose our car, we just have to click on get started. And on the left side, you can see all the details you need to fill up, like the personal details, which I have already put in there. And then they will ask you if you'd like to trade in your car. This time I personally have not chosen to go with Carvana because they were paying way less than what I can sell it in the open market. But also in the past, I have actually sold my cars directly to Carvana with a good price so i'm gonna talk about trading in the next section so for now we'll move to the next one where it will ask you like would you like to cash or would you like to finance it so we can uh, you know we can finance with carvana and most of the people opt for carvana you can also pay in cash but then also if you are approved from a, another lender you can just click on pre-approve with another lender fill in the details and move along so I'm setting a pay with cash here and then I'll move to the next section where it will talk about delivery part. So either you can request a delivery at your home or you can also, you know, go to the nearest vending machine and pick up your car. So for me, because I was planning to pick up the car from the vending machine for another experience, so I'll save that for later. Now, let's move on to the next option where Carvana offers you additional multiple protection, which is apart from your manufacturer's warranty, the seven day refund policy and 100 days, 4000 miles limited warranty. So on top of that, you can also purchase additional coverages from Carvana. The next part would be putting in your license information, which I've already put in. And then the last part is the payment information. Mind it guys that Carvana does not accept credit cards. So the only option you have is to uh, provide your bank account information or there's another option, but then ultimately the money has to be deducted from your bank account. So whatever down payment you are putting in or you are buying it in cash, all the money has to be available into your bank account. That was a pretty simple and fast process. And once you're done there, you can have a look at the total cost break breakdown. So there's no, you know, you can see there is no dealer free and all that stuff. So that's the total breakdown. 
Also, you might have to upload additional documents like a valid driver's license and information of your insurance to schedule delivery of your uh, vehicle and additional bank account details too. So these are the key features I selected the vehicle for and I have already made my purchase. So overall, this was also a good experience. Quick, fast and easy for sure. So we are nearing the Carvana vending machine to pick up our car today. But since we talked about the buying process, let's quickly go back and talk about the warranty, the refund policy, the trade-in. And in the meantime, I'll reach to the facility to pick up my car. So starting with the refund policy, Carvana offers seven day money back guarantee. and let me give you some details about it so it the seven day money back guarantee comes with a limit of 400 miles driven within the first seven days and then you know additionally you'll be charged a dollar per mile and obviously if you it, you won't be eligible if there's an accident anything is altered or any changes have been made to the to the car the next in line is the vehicle registration so they take like 60 days they give an estimation of 60 days within which they will register your vehicle and deliver it to you via dmv and then uh, the car obviously comes with temporary tax moving on the most important part 100 day limited warranty so this is valid for 100 days or 4189 miles from the date of purchase and whichever comes first mind it there would be a hundred dollar deductible for you know preferred facility and 350 deductible if you want to use your own facility in the meantime Carvana is liable to pay 100% of the parts and labors for any such repairs additionally you can also buy additional coverage from Carvana they have like some few plants which you can select from and also you whatever manufacturers want is available on the vehicle you can still use it so here's the additional warranty which you can buy from Carvana. It's called Carvana Care and there are three levels which is Essential, Plus and Premier. Also, it's noted to talk about gap coverage. Like if you owe more on your vehicle than what your vehicle estimated value is, make sure to gap, get a gap coverage to cover it. And then this is an overview of all the coverages and warranty which Carvana offers. So I'm talking about trading. So in the past, I have sold a couple of cars to Carvana and these were pretty new cars like you can see my Mercedes and they paid really well and they came over to pick up the car as well without any hassle. But mind it if your car is old and you're trying to trade in, I think they will not give you a good value. And this time I chose to sell the car in the open market, which will actually give me a better value. But still, I would recommend taking a quote from them. So it will help you to make a choice. Although trading or selling to Carvana is not as much fun, but warranty and refund policies makes it an overall good experience. All right. Thank you, Marlene. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> so here we are. Let's move on to see how the Carvana vending machine experience is. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are at the Carvana facility. And right in front of us is the vending machine where we need to get our car. So they have these tow trucks here, right here. So let's go inside, get our car from the vending machine. So this is how it works. So you make a purchase online and then make an appointment, schedule an appointment based on a certain date and time and come over to pick your car or get it delivered at your door. Mind it, until now I have not spoken to any human. It was all online and this is the first time I'll be dealing with any human from Carvana. So as we entered, here we have the Carvana website, a big screen where we can, you know, look for the cars. And on the left, you can see the vending machine. So that's where the car comes out. And in front of me, there are a few employees who are assisting other customers. And then there's a big TV screen overlooking the vending machine to show how it works. So I had to wait like five minutes until, you know, the employees 
got free of the other customers like my friend is getting his car he was before there before me so and then next five minutes it was like signing up the paperwork and then another five minutes so in total i'd say in 15 minutes uh i was ready and good to go and the employee walked over to me with my token for the vending machine to get my car yeah, no all right thank you for the coin So once you put the token, your car starts coming out of the vending machine. That's our car right there. And it's moving out of the, you know, the big tall vending machine. So now it's turning and you can see it's right there. And now it will be moving towards us. I am super excited. So finally our car is here and what we got today is a Toyota Highlander. Uh, so as I said I started with BMW and Jeep but then I found out that Toyota Highlander does have a 7 seating capacity and with all the new features like lane departure and other safety features that's what my choice is for today. So again overall picking up the car from a vending machine it's an awesome experience highly recommend it. Since the car is out of the vending machine, the employees are doing a final inspection and now they are going to hand over the car to me. So let's move on and check out how the car is. Stay tuned. So it's the same process guys as we you know as we buy a car from anywhere in the world. We got the car now we are going to do the initial check. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare whatever is mentioned on the website to this car. So starting with the odometer, it was the same what was mentioned on the website, precisely the same. And then when I checked the car too, so most of the car is like whatever it was mentioned on the website. And to surprisingly, it was actually better than what it was listed on the website. The only thing I would hope is it will run good. And that's what I would actually care about. As I stated guys, so I matched all the features from the brochure or whatever was listed on the website. So this car has a lot of, you know, safety features like lane departure system and all that stuff. And everything works like in perfect order. So I would say no complaints here. Except for the fact that the gas tank was not full full. It was 90%. I would say the car was neat and clean, tidy. Not much of a hassle. So again, I would tell you like, yes, it's again a good experience. That was nice. Now, before I tell you guys the final thought, I would also like to mention about the customer service. Because, you know, I never spoke to anybody until I walked into the Caruana vending machine. Now talking about the customer support guys, though if you go to their website, there are a lot of information like questions and answers which can help you. They do have a chat support and they do have a phone support. But as per my personal experience, the phone support is not r readily available. There's like a long wait time, especially when you're going through the underwriting phase. You m they might, the underwriters might not reach out to you as well and that's why i told you one of the reason i had to reschedule my delivery of my car a couple of times because of such hassles however the customer support or, or you know the executives there at the carvana vending machine were extremely helpful and though on the chat and call were helpful but at times they would not be able to resolve your queries because most of the thing are to be done online so that's the so i'm not gonna rate it as a bad experience because of just one minor hiccup so still guys it's a good experience now before i end this video let's talk about the final words
So all online, zero haggling, large selection of cars, 24-7. So these I would say are the pros of Carvana, including the warranty. Now let's talk about the cons. And not to surprise, yes, there are downsides as well. There is less savings, high APR, return and repair hassles, and ideally not for sellers because their trade-in value is not as great. So again, I'll still say the overall experience was a good experience for buying a car from them and I'll keep you posted of what happens next. Please subscribe to my channel and continue supporting me to see all the experiences from all over the world.